Hello again. Well, I've just had my hair cut, which is why I'm looking so damn sexy. Um, but don't let that distract you. We're off to the National Campervan and Motorhome Show at Peterborough. Okay, see you there. Well, we've made it. Um, yeah, it looks very popular. There are cars around. And lots of motorhomes over there. Look. So I think all these people are camping. Um, we didn't camp, we just came up for the day. No, straight away she's found something she likes. Dear God. You get a second mortgage, I reckon. Look at this, 110,000 this one. Pretty nice though. Got Beautiful. cupboards in there. And a bed at the back, I guess. Yep, there's storage underneath with every nook and cranny. There's a bit here, we're just uh, like park home, lodges, that sort of thing. Ah, look, a model. I like a model. Hey, excellent. We're going in the outside area now. But there's loads of stuff to look around. I suppose so, yeah. This is about the size of ours, I guess. But a lot newer. So this one has the bed made up at the back, which is handy, I guess. Um, Doesn't make it as flexible, yeah. though, does it? Short as well. A shower. So what we're lacking really is uh, space for gear and kit and stuff. This would be really handy. But uh, yeah, what comes at a price, I guess. So that's got a massive down, bed at the back, hasn't it? No, it doesn't go up and down because you've got the storage underneath, haven't you? So what's the handle? I've no idea what the handle is. Wind the bed up. Clockwork bed, I reckon. That's what that is. <laughs> maybe, that, maybe if you have wind it up, you've got storage underneath. Yeah, possibly, yeah. Flip it up, I don't know. Yeah, I like this, it's got the fixed bed and a little lounge bit here. Yeah, it's very nice. Where's the third one? Is it this yeah, one here? I, don't, I don't know where the third bed is, but... Uh, is it this? Yeah, the th third bed is at the front. Yeah, Nick is very bathroom. impressed with this because it's got the uh, bathroom at the back and uh, very spacious. Nice shower there. I like, I, like, I like the layout of this one, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the price is. Have a look at it. Yeah, there you go, forty-six thousand and thirty. So yeah, that was a Bailey Advance, apparently. If you like, it's there, pretty nice. Here we go. This one's uh, shade over a hundred thousand. This I think is a Highlander again. Oh right, it's got that um, weird shower again, but it has it works, okay. Feels you like, like that lounge, dear? Well, it feels like you. Family. Some of them just feel like you've just got somewhere that you've just sat and having a bowl of instant food. A bowl of this? instant food, eh? You could dine here. Could you? Could you? Dining right. okay. area. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, well, for £100,000, it's yours, I suppose. Once again. Yeah, there's plenty to have a look around, but uh, apparently, you can have an ice cream. You know, you're not going to be able to look at anything with an ice cream, don't you? I'll eat it quickly. Good ice cream, though. Mm. Very nice. There's flipping acres of uh, caravans and late homes to look round. Just goes on and on and on. I think we're going to look in every single one of them as well, by the look of it. Hmm. Well, we found another one we like. Um, Nikki likes these ones with the end lounges, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah, it always seems just seems a little bit more spacious. Yeah, I'll walk up the other end. What's that big cupboard behind you? Is that where know. the bed is? Have a look. Over the cab. Do you think you've got a secret bed in there? Um, no, I think that's just a cupboard. I don't think you sleep in the cupboard. That'd be a bit mad, wouldn't it? Well, I could get in there. <laughs> What's the toilet and shower like? It's okay. Okay. Oh, didn't sound so impressed with the toilet and shower. I oh, know it's one of these sort of mixed up ones. Where you're in with the toilet, but uh, I suppose that's all right. So what actually is it? That's a auto sleeper Hampshire. Yeah, so we're impressed with this one again. This is a this is a burstner. So oh, it's it's actually I think you obviously can cut it off from the rest. Yeah. And the kitchen's rather nice, very urban. Urban. Urban classic. <laughs> what? I've no idea. <laughs> Loft like. Yeah, it's got a nice shower. I like liking the shower. Um, nice hard finish in there so you can get no leaks. 
It's the bog. Yeah, but where do you sleep? Where do you sleep? This is um, like pulling the table down like we have to already. I guess. I think yeah, the table somewhere, comes down. Like somewhere in here, ones. I suppose, you make a bed. I don't know. Doesn't look like this. Is there an overcar bed? No, this is the bed, look. Look. What? Look, the whole ceiling comes down. Oh, wow. That's the bed there. That's exciting. The whole, whole ceiling comes down to make a bed. That's very good. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is nice. How much is this one? Um, not sure. Yeah, this one's 62, so seems like that's about what you have to pay to get to get something that, that we like the look of in the, in the modern ones. Of course, I haven't actually got 62,000, so we're going to be <laughs> sticking with what we've got, I guess. Quick look at the van conversions. That's pretty nice. Has it got a toilet in it? Yes. It's got a shower? Yes. Oh, and a fold-up sink. Yes. Well, this would be perfectly good for a holiday, wouldn't it? Yes. Loads of books yeah, there you and go. stuff, don't we? Yeah, right, we do have a lot of stuff we cart around with us, but yeah, it's got some storage in it. Yeah. There we go, we've found the uh, trade stand bits. Let's have a look, see what we can find. <laughs> Plenty of uh, stands to look at. But, uh, can't see anything we really need at the moment. So, so look at this sucker. Show, show them what you bought. Show them what you bought. Yeah, but I've got three for, little boys that for, I never know what to get them for. for ten quid each. The smallest, rem remote. the smallest remote control <laughs> cars go. in the world. That's uh, thirty quid. <laughs> One bit of lunch. Yeah, we're still going. Uh, more to look around. I think she's just got in that one over there. This is not... What? What's, what's well, this on is, there? This is not fully lined, is what you kept saying to me earlier on, which is the one we saw first was fully lined. Oh, right, yeah, I do prefer to see the shower cubicle. And that's what I meant. That's paper, Cause... isn't it? Yeah, Lying and the paper. eldest one seemed to have it. Although the space is nice. Mm. Got bunk beds there. But they don't actually encroach too much, the bunk beds. And the overcad bed. What's this? What is this anyway? Um, it's the little. Oh, it's a Rimmel Seal 9. Which hmm. is. That's quite nice and airy though, isn't it? What's that one? New price 43,600 over there. Hmm. Oh, that's the AutoQuest again. Oh, getting a bit of motorhome fatigue now. Um, still, let's uh, carry on a bit further and see what else we can find. Now, this is the thing a little wooden hut. And you are Oh, oh, hello. Let's go and have a look in this one then. Go on, here we go. Okay. Quite warm in here. So you've got, um, oh, this is another there's another one with the garage underneath the bed at the back, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. What's the bog like? It's the bathroom that I think we might have turned off. Okay. Want to go and have a look? Yeah, that's okay. Sort of thing you want, really, isn't it? Sort of so you like this, yeah? Well, it would, yes, in place of what we've got now. <laughs> Sixty-four nine nine five. Actually, this is a lot more expensive than some of the other ones we like. This must be newer, I suppose. It's automatic as well, isn't it? So. Yes, it is automatic. Yeah, but you still have to be there, I think. Oh, what's in here? Well, what's going on here? A motorbikes. This is where we came out. We came out of a different shed entirely. This is a Geist. Um, they're very nice. Look at this. Packing. Nice bathroom, look. It's me again. Fancy shower. Yeah, this is uh, extremely nice. We found the stuff. Loads of stuff. All the stuff you could possibly want. Oh, well, we've uh, looked around, I'm guessing, probably about uh, half of the show. Um, and to be honest with you, it's uh, starting to wear a bit thin. We've looked around loads of motorhomes, they're all very nice. Um, we've looked around some caravans, they were very nice as well. Everything's very nice, really, um, and very expensive. Um, and we've got no money. So, um, we're having uh, a cup of tea and a Danish pastry. Danish pastry? And uh, we're going to have a little look round the rest of it, I think, and then probably beat a bit of a retreat back for home.
has given us a bit uh, to think about and perhaps some ideas for the future there, hasn't it? Definitely. Yeah. And also what I can get Alex to make sparkly new in Sooty. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we've steeled ourselves to look around a little bit more. So uh, I think Nikki's looking at some folding towing frames. No idea why. What is it? Well, you, you attach it to the back of your car and then you, oh, well, right. to the front of your car, sorry, and then you tow it behind your motorhome. I'm sure my car would take kindly to it. There's lots of uh, awnings here, nice drive away awnings. I don't know, do we need a drive away awning? Could we even have a drive away awning with the door at the back? I don't know. Yeah, there is a door there, look. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would be your one for the back. 399. Yeah. You could use it on the back, couldn't you? You could use it on the back, but then you'd have to have a really long pitch to put your van on, wouldn't you? There's the Heimers here. Um, all locked up though. You can't go and look around them unless you go and tackle the salespeople. And we haven't got the money to buy one, so won't waste their time, I guess. Now, look at all these people camping. Crazy. Loads of them. Massive campsite. Yeah. Maybe we'll come and camp up here next year. I don't know. Or maybe it's a bit too crowded for us. We'll see. Yeah, some nice electric bikes here. Yeah. I've actually got the exact one that we bought for Nikki the other weekend. Fortunately, for exactly the same price, so I don't feel too bad about that. That's good. <laughs> hey, I've got myself a hat. Excellent, what do you reckon? Um, I'm not entirely sure Nikki likes it, but it's very comfy. Boom! Seems to have also just brought a barometer. Um, better slow down a bit now, I guess. Oh, well, there you go, we're back at the car now. Um, gonna head off home. That was quite interesting. Um, there's certainly loads to see, loads of new motorhomes. Um, not so much for the uh, owner of the older motorhome, I think, but uh, yeah. Lots of stuff to look at and uh, lots of things to think to about. to sell the house and get a static home and then we can buy a new camper van as well. <laughs> Hasn't worked so far. Yeah, maybe in a couple of years time, eh? <laughs> uh, Got to get a bit more of the mortgage paid off and uh, a bit more cash under her belt first, I think. Anyway, um, we're off home now. Well, we're back home now and um, I just wanted to mention that while we are at the show um, we had someone come up to us and mention that they were one of the subscribers to the channel uh, which took us a little bit by surprise. I suppose it's not that surprising that uh, somebody interested in motorhomes would be at a motorhome show but uh, it's very pleasing uh, nonetheless uh, so thank you very much for subscribing. Sorry we forgot to ask your name but uh, yeah slightly taken aback by that so uh, first time that's ever happened. Um, Anyway, thank you everyone who's subscribed and if you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to because uh, there's lots more stuff coming up. Well that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.